I'm Sarah Wazgis and I'm from the Aquatics Department. Um, I am today going to be teaching everybody or showing everybody um, conscious choking victims. We're going to start with an adult, then we're going to show you as a child, and then we're going to show you as an infant. This is Ben. Ben's going to be my victim t today. Um, so we're going to go through the universal sign for choking and how to proceed to help somebody that is choking. Okay. So the universal sign for choking is you're going to take your hands and you're going to place them around your neck. Okay. That's a universal sign to let everybody know that I'm choking. Okay. So the first thing you want to do before you go up to your victim and you start helping them or putting your hands on them is you want to introduce yourself. You want to let them know your credentials or that you're certified. And then first and foremost, you want to ask them, can I help you? Do I have consent to help you? So I'm going to be like, hi, my name is Sarah Waskis. I am trained in first aid, CPR, AD, and lifeguarding. Can I help you? Now at this point, Ben's not going to be able to say yes or no verbally. So he's going to be able to shake his head yes or no. Because at this point, Ben is just going to be coughing, okay? So at first, you're gonna go up and you're gonna introduce yourself, let them know your credentials, ask them for help, okay? So Ben's gonna start out and cough, okay? So he's coughing, so I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is encourage him to cough. Keep coughing, Ben, you can do it, get it up. Come on, we can do this, okay? The moment that Ben goes quiet and you can no longer hear him cough is when you want to step in and start doing your back blows and your upward thrust, okay? You want to start with your back blows first. You will do five of those, and then you will do five upward thrusts, okay? Um, so when you're going to give your back blows, okay, we'll have Ben stand to the side so we can all see. You are going to take the palm of your hand and you will hit them with the palm of your hand between their shoulder blades, okay? And you're gonna hit them five times, okay? Um, you wanna hit them like decently hard, but you don't need to like whack them. Kind of like if somebody's swallowed water and it went down the wrong pipe, that's kind of what how you want to hit them, okay? Um, so I'm going to show you from the side of what it's going to look like, and then we'll turn to the front and show you what it looks like from the front, okay? So because Ben is taller than I am, and I'm going to have you turn one more time, uh, because Ben's taller than I am, I'm going to go to the side of him, okay? I'm gonna place my left hand underneath his arm and across his chest like a sash, okay? So just in case he falls or um, goes unconscious, okay? I might have him bend over a little bit at the hips, and then again, I'm gonna take the palm of my hand, I'm gonna hit him five times between the shoulder blades. So it's one, two, three, four, five, okay? Go ahead, stand up. So after I hit him the five times, that's when you wanna do upper thrusts, or what I call upper J's, okay? The way to find your hand placement is if you make a fist, take your pinky and find your belly button, and then roll your fist up so now that your thumb is resting on their belly, okay? Then you're gonna take your other hand, you're gonna wrap it around their chest, and then that's when you're gonna push up. So it looks like upward J's, okay? So I'm gonna stand behind Ben and show you how this is gonna look. So again, I'm gonna be behind Ben, I'm gonna find his belly button, I'm gonna roll up, place my other hand over the top, and then I'm just gonna push his back into my chest and go up, kind of like upward J's. And like I said, that's five back blows and five upward thrusts, okay? Um, the coughing scenario that we talked about in the very beginning when they're coughing, that also uh, goes along with children and infants. So if the child is just coughing, all you wanna do is keep rooting them on, keep coughing, keep coughing until they stop coughing and you don't hear anything, that's again when you wanna come in and do the back blows and the upper thrust. Same thing as an infant. If the infant is coughing, you just let them cough until they can't hear them anymore, and then that's when you would proceed to go into your back blows and your upper thrust. And we'll for a child, you would do the exact same thing that you would do for an adult. The only difference is you would have to get down to their level. So you would be on one knee and the other knee would be up. Your hand would go underneath them or across their chest like a sash, bend them over and hit them five times, and then do the five over thrust. You would continue that until uh, whatever they were choking on comes up or they would go unconscious, okay? Um, the last one I'm gonna show is an infant. Infants are a little different. Um, they can't necessarily tell you 
that they're choking, you'll know that they're choking because they're turning colors. Um, again, this is for conscious. So if your baby was choking and they're conscious, you would take your arm, doesn't matter which arm, you would have them straddle your arm and their chest would lay against your forearm and your hand would become a C and you would place it on their jawbone, okay? At this point in time, you would place the baby onto your thigh. So your forearm would go to your thigh, okay? They would, again, between the two uh, shoulder blades, take the palm of your hand and you'd hit them five times. So it would look like this. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Then you would cradle them on the back of the head. You would rotate them over to the other side of your leg, okay? Again, your thigh is your table. So you would find the baby's nipple line, okay? And right in the center of the nipple line is where you're gonna push for five times. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Again, grab them at the chin or on the jawbone, and then it's one, two, three, four, five. And again, you would flip them over, find the middle of the uh, nipple line, and push one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Again, you would do this until the infant coughs it up or becomes unconscious. Okay. Um, at that time, you would definitely want to call nine one one. So. I hope that helped everybody. Um, if anybody is interested in first aid classes, babysitting classes, and or lifeguarding classes, please contact the uh, aquatics department or under member services, uh, or you give me a call as well. So I hope everybody has a good day. Bye.